Saint Helens 38, Wakefield Trinity, zippity doo da, zippity yay. It's not a wonderful day up in Wakefield today, is it? No, that's the fourth time this season they have failed to score a point. But let's try and look on the bright side, if there is a Mr. Bright Side. Uh, six of those games, of course, have come against the top six from the 2022 season. Only Hull KR, of course, outside that. And they did muster six points against KR, so happy days. Uh, the next two games are absolutely critical for Wakefield for Wakefield, of course, going up against Casper next week over Easter, and then, of course, uh, Lee Leopards. And if they come out with nil quoi in those two games, I'm sorry to say that they're building a stand that will be proudly erected for the championship. That's right. I just cannot see Wakefield staying up unless they get something out of the next two games. That's enough about Wakefield, really. Let's talk about St. Helens. The only real surprise on the night is it was only 38 points when I saw the starting lineup for Saints. I genuinely thought that they would uh, put good 50 plus on on Wakefield but that, that never happened so maybe that's a positive for Wakefield I don't know of course Alex Wormsley limping off only after a minute with a suspected hamstring problem that will keep him out of the Good Friday clash and probably the Halliwell Jones clash with Warrington Wolves the week after that's a hammer blow and I for one and I'm sure most of Super League were really looking forward to two Goliaths in Alex Wormsley and Paul Vaughan uh, locking horns at the Halliwell but maybe we'll have to wait until later in the season but last night well it was all about one man Johnny Lomax, 300 appearances for St. Helens. What an incredible pro. And that is a player. And of course, we mustn't forget he's had his injury problems over his career at St. Helens. But again, what a, what a player. What a man. I mean, this is a you know grand final winner, a, a League Leaders Shield winner, a Challenge Cup winner, a Lance Todd trophy. Oh, no, actually, no, that's the I'm sorry, Mr. Lomax, not the one thing that actually eludes you. A Harry Sunderland award, of course, is what he's he's got uh, in his um, trophy cabinet at home. And I think, you know, last night epitomised Johnny Lomax, uh, a try and four assists. A try and four assists, 20 tackles, 17 carries. He likes having his, his hands on the ball. Leaves the kicking duties normally to the man that partners him. But Lomax is quality. And, and you know, we've said on Super League Raw Weekly many, many a time, it's a tragedy, really, that, that this guy has never really been in and around the Man of Steel. Uh, he is such an incredible player, consistent player for St. Helens, a phenomenal career. And uh, rightly so, you know, we should pay homage to a man that has added so much to our game and continues to do so. Whether you're a Saints fan or not, it's great to see rugby league players of the highest stature. And Johnny Lomax is one of those. And he's having a great start to this year, of course, World Club champion now as well with St. Helens. He has done absolutely everything. Maybe, maybe who knows, he goes to Wembley uh, this year and gets that elusive Lance Todd trophy to just complete the, the trophy cabinet. And that would be quite fitting for a player that has given so much to the red, to the red V, of course, of St. Helens. Uh, brilliant win for Saints. Uh, nobody expected anything less last night, uh, I have to say. Uh, everybody went uh, St. Helens 18+. plus. By me, I thought that they might have rested a few hours in 90-17. I look a bit foolish now. Uh, but that's fine. You know, not a problem at all. A great performance, uh, you know, professional performance from Saints. Comrade Hubble. He's a wrecking machine inside of 10 metres, and he really, really is. And, and you know, you, you, you feel for the centre, the, the centres that come come up against him. Uh, good to see uh, Willa Party as well uh, getting a try. Of course, another player who's had his injury problems uh, since joining St. Helens. He'll be pleased uh, to get on the try seat. Tommy Makinson doing what Tommy Makinson does. But Matt Percival last night, uh, I believe, was taking the, the goal kicking duties for St. Helens. That's an interesting one. Um, not quite sure about that. What was that? Maybe uh, Makinson just. Um, not 100% fit, maybe a leg issue, who knows? Uh, but that was quite interesting uh, to 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 pick that one up uh, from, from the game. But no, look, Saints uh, doing what Saints do. Uh, massive game now, huge game on Good Friday. I for one can't wait for that one. What a match that one's going to be. Um, oh, yes, bring it on. Bring it on, Good Friday. Uh, can't wait for that. Of course, Wigan as well. Uh, you know, they will be... Um, up for it as well. They, of course, also having their injury concerns going in. So neither team will be at full strength, but it'll still be a phenomenal spectacle. All form goes out the window. It's going to be a matter of who wants it most and uh, who knows who that is going to be. As, of course, for Wakefield going away to the jungle, uh, like I said, in the, the opening stanza of this uh, in the shed tonight, today, it's a massive game for Wakefield. You know, looked at their Twitter feed last night. Mark Applegarth out there even asking for Chris Chesters to come back. It's a club in absolute turmoil. A week where Corey Hall goes to Hull KR and that went down like a lead balloon as well. 
Oh, dearie, dearie me. Wakey fans, I don't know what to say other than, you know, my salute you yet again. Your um, loyalty uh, to your team is to be commended. I just hope that at some point the team will do you justice and repay all of that faith in what you bring to that team. As for Saints Day, Mark John, and, uh, well, there's only one way to end this uh, version of In The Sheds. Mr. 300 appearances for Saints Ellings, over to you. Oh!